Thanks, Marion. Thanks for the for leading the discussion. Um, so we're here at the last session. It's just a few minutes of wrap up before we end for the day. I think we've had a really great set of sessions today. So we began the day thinking a bit about cholera control in Mozambique. Um, and for the remainder of the day, we've been talking a lot about uh, our validated PAMI control guidance, the ongoing work uh, on the PAMI elimination guidance. Uh, we've talked a little bit about how PAMIs feed into OCB prioritization and how that can inform prioritization of multi-year vaccination plans. We also saw a demonstration of the PAMI Control Excel tool and also saw some uh, real-life applications of how these guidances have worked in Bangladesh and Mali. And finally, we ended the afternoon thinking a little bit about coordination and what we need to do as a global community to um, improve engagement with PAMI, uh, PAMI identification, and also think about some ways that we can bolster the review process and the support process. And I think these are conversations that really need to be ongoing and I know it's the end of the day, so maybe people are a little bit tired and need to think a little bit more about um, how to engage, but I promise we'll be following up a, a, with a lot of you to get further feedback in smaller discussions. So I wanted to wrap up just by summarizing a few action items that I think as a subgroup we still have on our plate. Um, one of the, the, the main things I think is you know, of course, we've published the, the PAMI uh, control guidance. One of the main things is to translate all of that into French. And if there are other languages that you think would be really important, please let us know. We've also been uh, talking a lot about the PAMI elimination guidance this afternoon, and we'll be continuing to develop and pilot these methods over the coming months. This is still something that is in progress. And I think we do need to think a bit about the WASH indicators and how to integrate these different factors. We also uh, uh, want to think more about integration of the PAMI activities with the following uh, intervention support activities. So we heard a little bit today from the OCV working group about how the PAMIs feed into OCV prioritization, but there's still a lot of work to do in identifying other pillars and, and developing the guidance for those interventions. We also heard from uh, some feedback from the questions about what to do among countries that are a little bit in between the PAMI control and the PAMI elimination rule. So countries, for example, that own, didn't have cholera outbreaks for several years and then suddenly have one or two years of data where, they, where they're seeing cholera outbreaks again. I think we need to reflect um, in the subgroup a little bit about how we can clarify the usage of these tools. Um, it, it also sounds like we will follow up in a few months with countries that are starting to implement the PAMI control guidance and we'll ex solicit some more feedback about the types of additional support such as job aids, infographics, other video tutorials in order to support the usage of the tools. And then finally, um, going into the last section, I think we'll also follow up with some smaller group discussions to understand receptivity and utility of a, a earlier PAMI review process in order to facilitate coordination and uh, technical support. Um, I think that's a lot of action items. So <laughs> we have a lot of work to do in the coming months and we'll rely on your continued engagement moving forward. Thank you so much for an engaging day and we will see you uh, tomorrow.